Alright guys, and welcome back to another episode of Custom Cars with the Hoonigan DLC for Forza Horizon 3. Now today might be the shortest build ever because I've took a look in the upgrades for the Hoonicorn and there's not a lot. But as I said, we're still going to put my own twists on it because I have got a very, very good colour in mind for this car. So let's go in to the upgrades and see what we can kind of do with it because there is not a lot. Now, there is an option to make this thing rear-wheel drive, but we all know how legendary this thing is with the four-wheel drive system, which, is, which Ken Block and that put in the car. It's freaking phenomenal. But what we can do is also put some tires onto it, but it's already got, I think, sports on it. So I think we should be good enough for that. Now, the tire width, we can bump that up, but at the same time, I'm trying to think. Because it is four-wheel drive. It does have... 1400 horsepower, so maybe Theophys would be a good idea on the front just to give us a tiny wee bit more grip. But I know this is meant to be a drift car, so what is the point? But fuck it, Theophys will do. Now, the rims, I kind of like the way they look right now, but we will take a little bit of a gander down and see what other ones look like with it. I don't know what it is about them, but these ADV rims are sticking out very, very well for me. All I need to do is get rid of the little Forza logo because that is the only thing that's kind of not looking good on them. But yeah, the rim size is absolutely perfect. And I think that's roughly all we could do with it. We could shove some race brakes onto it, which I think we might need. And suspension, that's going to be the off-road one, isn't it? We're not going to need that. So that was the shortest mechanical side of the build ever. But <laughs> we've still got the actual freaking colouring that to do but I've got the perfect one in mind. Perfect one in mind right now. So let's jump into the paint and it's going to be another Metal Flake car guys because the one with the RX-7 which actually quite a lot of you guys loved I'm surprised at that because I didn't expect people to like the green in that but you did. You did. Thank you very much for the support on that video. Right, We need to make it completely sort of dark for that again. This is just quite a good way to get kind of like a metallic colour slash flake as well. So we're going to go red on this thing, man. We're going to go fully red. Ooh, man. That looks awesome, actually. That looks really cool. So let's see if we can make it a wee bit darker. Oh, <laughs> that looks so mean at the back, man. Oh, mamma mia. Ah, oh, it's so nice. This is the beauty of Forza, seriously. I mean, if you don't like the designs of the Hoonigan, well, I personally do, but I wanted to do something different, as I says. This is fucking gorgeous, man. Oh, yes, please. Now, for this bit, we might go for a chrome. We might go for a chrome on this thing, man. Not put chrome on a car for quite a while now. <laughs> oh, it just, it just fits the bill so perfectly because it's, it's a 65 Mustang as well. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yes, I'm slightly having a crisis with this car, man. Oh, it's good. It's very good. Right, so taking a wee gander around it in the Forza Vista. I don't know exactly what we can do with it. We can open the doors and we can even see the big engine. Oh, my God. Holy fuck, look at them turbos, man. <laughs> the size of it. Jesus. 1,400 horsepower coming from that big boy right there, man. Fucking animal, man. I have not driven this yet, guys. Unlike the RX-7, which I had a little bit of a play with. I have not driven this thing yet. It's wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I mean, you can't even put a Reggie plate on it. <laughs> oh, but you can open the bonnet. You can open the boot, I mean. Not bonnet. Okay, then. What's in here? That's the fuel tank, isn't it? Jesus Christ. They really went into fucking detail with this car, man. Wow. Right, in the last episode with the Twerk Stallion RX-7, a lot of you guys liked the idea 
of the Drift Score Challenge. So we're going to be doing it again here in the Outback, this time with the Rubicorn, that's what I'm going to call it because of the colour. So we managed to get 50,000, nearly cracking 60,000 last time. So we're going to go for 70,000. It might be possible, not too sure, but let's get going with this big beast. Very, very big beast. Jesus Christ. Now, I don't think it matters what gear you go in in this thing, you will be getting shit tons of freaking wheel spin. Hopefully this allows us to actually carry quite a bit of speed through here. Oh, ho, ho. BMW already. The BMWs are back. <laughs> it's like, yes, we fucked you up in the RX-7. We're about to fuck you up again, sonny boy. So we're already at freaking 12,000. That was quick. Bloody BMWs, man. <laughs> hate them. Bloody hate them. This is already a lot more responsive than the RX-7. The RX-7 kind of takes its time to swing around, but this is rapid. Absolutely rapid. Oh, bumping a little bit off the back there. Right, let's see if we can head up to the sort of track area that I know near surfers without losing these points. I know it's not really natural to kind of snake it around, but we want to keep this freaking score going up. We're going to need to. Look at that little Audi. It's fucking terrified. Is that my gosh? Look at the fucking car behind me. It's skidding on. Whoa, Jesus Christ. That lag. Can we pull this off? See, I told you we were back to get you! I told you we were back to get you, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Fuck you, white BMWs! Fuck you! <laughs> I was doing not bad there at all, I was doing not bad. And it happens to freaking when I get around 30,000, there's always a bloody white BMW. And there's always- What is with the lag?! Is this game really, really trying to fucking bully me today? It's like, yes, you've got a car you've been waiting years to come in to the freaking game. But we're just going to make it a living fucking hell for you. Thanks, game. Thank you, white BMWs. You absolute pricks. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. Right, I'm on the roads that I know well now. Come on, sonny boy. Look at this thing. <laughs> I mean, what do you guys make of the colour? I know some of you might be a bit put off by it, but that's just personal taste, isn't it? Oh! I might have crap my pants there. <sighs> Jesus, Mary and bloody Joseph. This is this challenge, right? That I've thought up with these bloody skill points. It's added a whole new dimension to these videos. Seriously, for me, it makes me concentrate so much fucking more. But it also makes me ten times as terrified. Thirty thousand, mate. Right, we've got that. We've got that. Another 40,000 to go. These roads are very wide, so we can easily do this. Oi! Take out some side posts. The fourth gear in this thing. Jesus! It's the amount of angle you can hold. This is drifting heaven. Even though it's four wheel drive. Well, it's Jimkana heaven then, let's say that. This is the corner which I fuck up every time. Oh yes. <laughs> I feel as if we're going back to the roots. Fucking no! No! Oh fuck off, driver tars! Ah! Oh! oh, I need a drink. <laughs> Not a drink as in juice, I mean drink as an alcohol. Heavy alcohol based. So we've got the Range Rover in the enemy list now. Fucking prick now. Where, where we're at now is where I wanted to go. Oh my god, a bit too much angle. Too much angle on that one. I swear, I swear to god, if anyone even attempts to do anything to me again, I'm going to throw this control. Nah, no, I'm not that bad so far. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that, but if it happened like a fourth and a fifth time, then I'd maybe consider it. 
Woo! <laughs> oh, this sucker! This sucker is made for this car. Well, I think I found myself a solution there. So I've jumped into a private session, and since it is online, there is no driver tours. Why didn't I think of this before? Why didn't I think of this before? So it's just the stupid AI cars we need to worry about now. So yeah, I may have crashed into another Audi. That was my fault that time. But we should be a lot better off this time. I say should. That's the that's the key word in that sentence. Right, so we have just passed the 50,000 mark. Nearly crashed into a freaking Subaru Legacy. But it started to rain. That's my problem right now, so... I need to freaking watch out here, man. I really do. Well, that was a that was a short fucking shower. Okay, it's maybe not starting to rain, but let's do some drifting in the cockpit view. Third gear for this corner, all the way around. Yes. <laughs> this has got to be one of the best cars in this game right now, guys, or in any game in that matter. So fucking good. So good. Even though it is all-wheel driving that, but I hate making that fucking excuse. I mean. You're sliding, you're fucking sliding, aren't you? Let people drift the way they want to drift. Wait. 65,000, we're nearly there. This is just going to be the fucking Achilles heel bit here if someone smashes into us. I don't want any drinks it. Oh, come on, come on, baby girl, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we got it! We fucking got it! Yes, yes, yes. Ha ha! Oh. oh. My heart was in my mouth for a second there. Bloody Subaru's getting in the way. We got it. We got it. How far can we actually go? How far can we actually go? If we can hit 80,000 then, holy mother of god, that'll be good. This thing. This thing. I'm actually speechless. I've not been speechless about a car for a while, but this is so fucking good. I didn't even notice we're over 80,000. <laughs> right, we'll complete this lap and see how much we've got by then. There we go, there we go, there we go. Here we fucking go, boys. 90,000. I am going to leave it there before I completely fuck up and crash into a car. Is it better than the RX-7? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. This is just... Oh... I'm making weird noises, I'm making weird noises, I need to stop, but yeah guys, you need to drive this, you need to fucking build it, like I done, wow, <laughs> that's the only word I've got to say, this is a lot of fun, probably the most amount of fun that I've had in Forza for a very long time, this challenge is just breathed life back into these videos I think man, so fucking good, but anyway, Thank you very much for watching this one guys, if you could leave a wee like that would be absolutely fantastic. Also remember to hit that subscribe button and also hit the little bell notification just to keep you updated with all my future videos and the future episodes of the Hoonigan Car Pack Custom Cars. Just, it's going to take a lot to top this thing man, it's going to take a hell of a lot so follow me on all my social media stuff in the description below but for now. For me and the Rubicorn, we shall see you in my next video. Bye bye!